Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, you are welcome here, guys. Everybody's welcome. Let's see what spirit has. We're just going to dig and go. See what's coming towards you, around you, within your energy, right? I decided, guys, I was thinking, remember I couldn't think of a name for this deck. I think it's going to be Pandora's Box 2, right? It may be Pandora's Box 2 and 3 because it's so many that if I made it one deck, it costs you that much. So it may be Pandora's Box 2 and 3 mixed. <clears throat> All right, so what's going on? What's in your Pandora's Box, right? Everything is in Pandora's Box. Holy Spirit, what's going on? What could I do? You're out of my league. I want you, though. So someone feels that you just too much for them. You out of their league. You do it too good. You look too good. You smell too good. You walk great. You work well. Your bank account is good. Your credit is flowing. Like you on 100. That's what they say. I didn't say. That's what they said. So you out of their league, but they want you, though, right? That's a good thing, whoever this person is, because you do. You have to... Raise the bar, you know, step it up. If you sell someone is out of your league, then step it up, right? That's that's good for that person. Make them step it up. What else, Spirit? What's going on here? Who is this? Oh, yeah. They feel that you have this magical energy. You're like a freaking unicorn, guys. You're unbelievable to some people. Like, they don't, they don't know where you come from. They don't know how you do it. They don't know, like, who is he? Who is she, you know? They just can't put a finger on it. Why should I settle? So this person, they're probably with somebody that they don't want to be with. They're like, why should I settle? Even though you are out of their league, that's what they want. So whatever they have is probably, they consider it less than you. I mean, we don't do that, but they probably consider it less than you. So they're thinking to themselves, well, why should I settle? When I got this great thing over here, right? When I got this freaking unicorn, right? This person's ready to come clean. I guess they're ready to come clean about <laughs> what they needed to settle up, settle up on, right? What they're willing to sacrifice to come to you. Then again, yeah, they better be careful because you may not like what they bring to you. But that's neither here nor there. Forget marriage. Let's just have fun. Period. Amen. Stop. Stop. <clears throat> Let's go back to the first card when this person said that they think that you're out of their league. I'm going to confirm it for them and I'm going to say, yes, you are. And the reason why I say that, yes, you are, first of all, they see you in some type of light where you're magical, you're different, you stand out. They know you better than anything that they've ever had because they're questioning themselves, why should they settle when I got this unicorn over here, right? So they're ready to come clean or whatever. But here's the thing, and this is how I know you're out of their league. Fifth card in, they said, forget marriage. Let's just have fun. No, no. Trust me. If you see something from far away and it looks like you can't afford it and it looks like it's out of your league and it looks like a dang, what's that? Leave it the fuck alone if you have no intentions. Because that thing right there that's out of your league, I'm pretty sure they want marriage. That thing right there that's out of your league, I don't think they're just going to have fun. And if they are out of your league, they have their fun, trust and believe. But they're focused and they're detailed. And that's why they're out of your league. Because you still won't play these games. Somebody still want to play these games with somebody else that's just out of their league. You can't do it. It's not going to work that way. Boop, boop, boop. Who is this person? Spirit, what's going on with them? <laughs> They're questioning themselves. Why should they settle for what they have to what they could possibly have? They feel you out of their league. You something amazing. You. They said it. I didn't say it. Ooh. They want to come and talk to you, though. Maybe in a family room. Yeah, they want to have a conversation. Or maybe they're talking about this with somebody in a family room. Look. They're setting out on a new path, guys. So they're asking themselves, should I go this way? Should I go this way? Should I settle? Should I settle or should I go and mount this unicorn? And see if this bitch fly, right? 
Guys, I'm sorry. Somebody wants to go see. Yeah, they think about they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you. They're ready to come clean. Mm-hmm. Ooh, three cards came out. So this is a false person. They've been fake to you. And you're gonna have a choice. Oh my god. Between a main male and a wealthy, a wealthy man. What the fuck? They came out together. The hell. So somebody just want to have fun. So is this main male the wealthy man? This is probably that rich fucker that comes out from time to time, right? So the wealthy man, he's he he. This is him. This he's the main male. This is his read. However, he just want to have fun. Either that, no, nope, 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 nope. Cause the wealthy man wouldn't say you how he's read. Slide that. The main male. Who's the liar and who doesn't want to settle and who looks a little disgruntled? I mean, he has on a suit, but his suit isn't like that wealthy man. That's two different men. Look at that. His suit is pristine. His is like, okay. His is like, I got it off the rack. It, it, could, be, it could be a Ralph Lauren purple label suit. However, he didn't get it tailored. This one got it tailored. Okay. There's... <laughs> so this main male here has someone and that someone doesn't compare to you that someone doesn't have that de la sincroix however they say you know what I'm saying color sincroix that thing they don't have that and that's what they want however you're out of their league so and they don't want marriage anyway they just want to have fun they just want to have fun right but then here's this wealthy man who is this spirit? Who that, who that, who that, who that, who that, who that, who? <laughs> who is this wealthy man spirit, right? Let's see, guys. Who's spirit? Who's the wealthy man? Anybody? Going once, going twice. Energy of the wealthy man spirit. The wealthy man probably got a family. The wealthy man got family and kids. He takes care of the community. He also got a main female that he takes care of. Either that or that's you, right? I don't know. Who is this wealthy man, spirit? All right. Wealthy man could be a gift. A gift from spirit. Damn. All right. So this wealthy man is up in his head about this long journey. Probably up in his head about coming towards you. Maybe you live at a distance. Maybe this wealthy man got to travel to get to you. But maybe this wealthy man got to leave a family to get to you. But what's funny is this other person could leave someone to <laughs> Everybody got to leave somebody. The hell? Everybody got to leave somebody. Spirit. So somebody wants to come clean. But I think the wealthy man, you're probably not even dealing with the wealthy man. And his woes are his woes. And when he comes to you, he's probably going to be single, right? Without you having to deal with all of this. But the other person here, the other person is a liar because they're ready to come clean. One of these two is ready to come clean. But there's two. One got their suit off the rack, didn't get it tailored. The other one got their suit off the rack and got it tailored. <laughs> oh, God. In the Knight of Wands, the main male, the one who didn't get their suit tailored is the Knight of Wands. And he's the one that said, why should I settle? That's the Knight of Wands. That's the one that's in and out. See? And they're the ones that's sneakingly ending a partnership, two of wands in reverse, to come in with you. They're having money problems, collective, but they just want to come in and test the waters with you. They want to come test the waters with you, see what you got. <laughs> Look, but they got a karmic on their ass. They got a queen of swords in reverse. They got somebody on that ass. They got a person on that ass. And here they are, the king of swords. The, the Queen of Swords is in reverse. King of Swords is in the upright. So this person is being cold right now. They're demanding they respect. It's like, they probably fighting at home, right? They probably fighting at home. Because they're like, well, why should I settle, right? When I got a freaking unicorn out there. So first man, first man's fighting at home, guys. Trying to leave a relationship. But know this, that's the Knight of Wands. And that's the person that's in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out of your life. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this wealthy man? Do you know the wealthy man? Maybe the wealthy man is watching you, right? Who's this wealthy man, spirit? Oh, he's coming in as the Knight of Cups. 
Here he is, him coming in, and he's walking away from something. Walking away, knowing nothing can be done. So he's abandoning something. Oh, wealthy man. And remember I told you down here, I said wealthy man is leaving something that you probably don't even know about, but by the time he gets to you, it'll be clear. Wealthy man, this is the son. He wants marriage, happiness, and bright prospects. Maybe he sees you as a, a bright prospect, a possibility. They did have some delays or whatever around the situation. It had some involvement with money. But they want to come in from the cold. Maybe this is somebody you know. But the wealthy man was having problems over money. Probably in court. It was in a head. Probably had to go to court with somebody. But there you are. You're the queen of pentacles. A professional woman. Dark hair. Business. Domineering. That's what they want. Spirit. Spirit. Okay. So we know who that person is and that person is. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm trying to get something. Mm. Let's see what your angels say about this. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. So somebody is thinking about why should I settle when I got when I got a freaking unicorn, you know, that could possibly fly. And then there's a rich man that wants you too. <laughs> but the person that just wants a unicorn, they don't want anything. They just want to have fun with you. They want a real unicorn. And we know unicorns aren't real. So we know that that person is full of shit. Spirit said, do the work, guys. You got to work on the difference between these two, guys. You're going to have a choice. You have to do the work. Make your list if you have to make the list. Vulnerability and freedom. Spirit wants you to feel vulnerable, but also feel free at the same time. Guys, figure out what's going to work for you. Something's coming. You're going to be feeling a little vulnerable and a little free. Forgiveness and understanding. You're probably going to have to forgive somebody. I don't know which one, but you got to forgive and understand. That doesn't mean you have to be with them, but forgiving and understanding allows you to move on. Anything final, spirit? Cut the cords. Yeah, you're cutting someone off. Somebody got to go. Somebody got to go, collective. Spirit said, pay attention to your intuition and your downloads, guys. It's coming in. So pay attention. Pay attention. Somebody wants to be around you because your energy is magical. But they don't want any more than that. But then someone else is coming in. A rich person, wealthy person, have their own money or whatever. Whatever wealthy is to you, I don't know. But they have a job. <laughs> Fuck. In this deck, they're wealthy. Um, you may have a choice. Pay attention to your intuition and your downloads, guys. Because your angels are giving you... They're going to give you a download so you can see the difference between these two people. And sometimes, guys, when you get the download and you get the red flags, don't ignore it. Because sometimes you could be like, say you're in the car. And this happens to me all the time. And then sometimes, I know it's not an eagle because it, it's very rare when you see eagles. But when you do see those big old hawks or those big old birds that fly over your car like this really, really slow. Sometimes I think that's the message. And whenever I see it like that, I have to think of... What was I thinking at that time? That's a red flag. It's like, what were you thinking at that time? It's like spirits trying to put something in your face. Like maybe you had a conversation with somebody and it didn't make sense. And then you piece one conversation back to another conversation that you had two weeks ago. And then you like, bitch, right? Use your intuition. Sometimes it doesn't pop up right away, guys. But then sometimes, cause you know, I mean, here we are, we're grown ass men and women. And our mind can snap like that. And we can remember stuff when we were three. Right? So go with it. Use your intuition. Use your downloads, guys. They're here. Because you're going to have a choice between two. Between an asshole and a wealthy person. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.